Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope every one of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my Telegram channel with the name HYIT Intraday Calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other. All right, so before we start with today's discussion, please allow me to mention about an offer that will reduce your capital requirements for trading various segments like the NSE futures and the MCX futures. Okay, talking about the NSE futures, you can trade contracts like Nifty, Bank Nifty, SGX Nifty, etc., with just 6,000 rupees for one lot. Whereas in MCX, you can trade one lot of crude oil copper, natural gas, etc. for just 4,000 to 6,000 rupees. Okay, for gold and silver, it will cost you around 10,000 rupees per lot. And not only this, you will be happily surprised when you get to know the other features that are being offered. I can't give you all the details here as there are many, but I will surely share all the details post you get in touch with me. In today's scenario, if you want to trade one lot of crude oil, you need to have a minimum of 1.6 lakhs as your capital, that is 1 lakh 60,000. Similarly, for Nifty, for just one lot, you need to have at least 1 lakh as your capital. Now replace 1.6 lakhs with 4,000 to 6,000 rupees and 1 lakh with 6,000 rupees. It does make a lot of difference to a retail trader like you and me right so that's the help i want to extend or offer and if you are interested then you can get in touch with me on the details that are being shown on the screen and we can take it forward all right so as you all know or if at all you follow me you will surely see that i am more inclined towards short trades towards short selling right i like taking sell trades most of the time in fact if you see the screenshots that the premium calls that i post in my website on a regular basis you will see that 100 percent of the calls in both nifty and bank nifty are sell calls okay so the basic funda is if you are an intraday trader you need to hunt on things that happen quickly so that you can enter at the right time and come out of the trade with your profits as quickly as possible. Okay, and the quick moves actually happen on the sell side. Hence, I prefer trading the sell side. Now again, just to give you a reminder or a disclaimer, just saying that trading on the sell side can be more profitable is a generic statement because it's not that you see a stock or index going down and you initiate a sell trade and it would work for you. Please be notified that bringing your trading experience to this level wherein the trades happen easily for you in itself is a big deal. There are a lot of things that goes behind it and you need to put in a lot of effort to achieve the same. Okay, now having that said, in today's video, we will discuss about a very particular thing that a trader should take care of, especially if he or she is more uh, into sell side trading, into short selling. Okay, and also what are the things that you need to take care of so that you don't get trapped when you are in the short trade. So the thing that I'm talking about is a bear trap. Okay, so firstly, let me explain uh, real quick what a bear trap is. Okay, well, bear trap is a situation that is created by the bulls on the charts that will look as if the stock prices will go down or the stock is about to break down. But on the contrary, the stock prices will actually move up. So if I explain, the uh, explain this technically in terms of support and resistance, then what the bulls will do is they will make the price breach or break a particular support area or a support zone. So once the support is breached, it's obvious that the bears will show their interest in initiating a sell trade, right? So post the bears initiate the sell trade, 
the bulls will start taking the prices up and from there the prices will keep moving up further so what's happening here is that the bears are trapped hence it is called a bear trap okay so this is a layman's understanding and i hope you got the explanation about bear trap and what a bear trap is okay now another perspective that should be known to avoid the bear trap is the kill candle remember kill candle is the most important candle which you need to figure out on the charts okay so basically kill candle is a bearish candlestick that is a red candlestick that forms near the support area or breaches the support area so basically this candle the red candle the kill candle kind of confirms that the stock has faced a breakdown and because of the breakdown the stock prices will move down further but again as i said earlier this is a trap that is being set by the buyers to trap the sellers got it so let's uh, get onto the charts guys and have a look uh, let's have a look on some examples so that you can grasp the stuff uh, the stuff more clearly okay so let me bring on the chart here just a moment all right i'm sorry just a moment it's taking some time ah oh, it went up i'm so sorry about this I clicked here and there. All right. So this is um, the example uh, chart that I have already uh, prepared. Okay. So this is a one-day time frame for DLF. Please remember that the bear trap can happen in any time frame. Okay. And most importantly, you need to take care of it if you are a day trader or if you are an intraday trader. Okay. So it uh, like the bear trap can happen in five minutes in 15 minutes in 30 minutes in 45 minutes in one hour in any time frame so i have taken the one day time frame just to explain the stuff for your understanding uh, to know what exactly a bear trap is how to find out the kill candle and what action do you need to take once you find out the kill candle okay so here it is so what you see here this red candle the big red candle that you see here is the kill candle okay now what what exactly is happening here as i said the kill candle will show the sellers that the support has been breached and if you see the left hand side of the chart this line the green line that you see has been working as a very strong support right it took a support here it tried breaching the support it was not able to it went up further again came down to the same spot tried breach, breaching the support it was not able to and the prices again moved up right so the support was being tested for two times so it becomes for sure a very strong support and in the third attempt as you can see here this red candle breached the support and closed below it so basically the support was breached now this is the point where the sellers will show interest right they will anticipate that the script price might fall further and this is where the game starts okay so as you can see here this red candle is the kill candle and it is showing as if a support has been breached i mean it has been breached in the real time but just because the support has been breached you cannot take up a sell position right there are many other things that needs to be taken care of before you actually initiate a sell trade right so right now in this red candle in this kill candle the sellers sorry the buyers are trying to trap the sellers okay and eventually as you can see here it came down for a while and then it started the up move and it kept moving up further without any stoppage right so this is called as a bear trap wherein the bears are trapped by the buyers or the bulls okay now another perspective of it is how do we avoid how do we avoid falling into the trap well it's very easy and that is something which i have been telling since a long long time so when the support is breached whenever you see that a kill candle is being formed it is a trigger for you to be more careful it is not a trigger it should not be a trigger for you to get ready for a sell trade okay there is a lot of difference between two statements okay getting ready to initiate a sell trade and getting more careful okay in this case whenever you see a kill candle it is very important for a trader to become more careful okay and how to avoid this trap 
Well, it is simple. If a particular candle candle has formed and a particular support level has breached and the candlestick has closed below the support level, then you need to wait for the stock to move up again. Okay, and if the stock is facing a resistance there and then again it starts falling, that is the time when you initiate a sell trade. You don't initiate a sell trade here. Okay, you don't initiate a sell trade here or you don't initiate a sell trade here. You initiate a sell trade here. Okay, so support was breached. The prices came down. Let the prices go up again. Let it face a resistance here. Then let it fall again. And if you see that the fall is happening again, then you initiate a sell trade. Okay, so that is how you avoid being trapped. That is how you avoid the bear traps. As simple as that. Okay, so this was for an example. Let's move on uh, to the second example, SRF. Again, it is a one-day time frame chart. And the exact same thing is happening here. Okay, what, what, what is happening here? Just a moment. Let me bring in the pencil, okay? Right, so a lot of supports, right? Here, support went up. Again came down, took a support, went up. Again came down, took a support, went up. It was the fourth attempt when the support was breached and the candlestick closed below the support level, right? So this is the red candle, this is the kill candle, and this is where the buyers are playing the game. And the exact same thing happened, right? It went down for a while and started the up move and kept moving up. So very easily, the bears were trapped here and the bulls got the win. Got the point, right? So how do you avoid this particular bear trap? Obviously, after the support has been breached, wait for the prices to go up again. See if, it's, if it is facing a resistance here. Right, so this was a support, this green line was a support. But after it has been breached in the downside, the same support becomes a resistance. Now, these are very basic stuffs. I'm just making sure that I don't miss a point. That is why I'm explaining it. But I expect everybody to be aware about these basic stuffs, right? So if you have a support line, that is the green line, and if it is breached in the downward direction, then the same support line becomes the resistance for the stock. Okay, so once the support is breached, see or wait to see if the script prices are going up again. If it is facing a resistance here and again starts a fall from here, that is the time when you initiate a sell trade. Okay, you don't initiate a sell trade at this time. Or you don't initiate a sell trade when the point at which the support level was breached. Okay, so this is how you avoid being trapped. This is how you avoid the bear traps. Okay, again, just to repeat, these kind of situations can be seen in all the time frames. Okay, again, just to repeat, I'm more concerned about the day traders because if you are into day trading, we really get very less time to manage all our things. And in intraday trading, as you all know, there are a lot of things that needs to be managed within a specific time period. Okay, so if you are into day trading, make sure that you follow whatever I have said in this video. Okay, and I'm very sure that you will be able to avoid all the bear traps all the time. Okay, so let me get back to the presentation just a moment and let me see if I'm missing on anything else. Uh, all right, wait, 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 yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, I think uh, I'm good on it. So this is what I wanted to share with you guys and I hope this would add some value to your cognizance. See, in trading, I call these things as observations. Okay, the tiny mini bits of what's happening on the charts are the things that you need to observe very closely and in order to know what might happen in the upcoming minutes or hours or days. Okay, so the more good you are with the observations, the better the tradings will get for you. As simple as that.
okay so that's all from my end guys and for the guys who have not watched my previous video i have put in the video card on the top right corner of the video the i symbol that you see there you can click on it and watch my previous video and as always we request you all to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also please do not miss the ending of this video as you will get to know more about hyt that might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions or queries if any in the comment section and i will surely reply back to them and also please do not forget to like this video if you like it. So that's all from my end and I will see you all later. Hope you all will stick back. Happy trading and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.